Hey, Boxy here. More news has just been released by Adopt Me regarding tomorrow's updates. We'll be taking a closer look at all the news and I'll also reveal how you can prepare for the update. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell and press that like button. There are some big changes happening in Adopt Me on Thursday the 10th of June at 4pm Greenwich Mean Time. We're saying goodbye to the potion shop, the Sky Castle is getting a makeover, new pride pins will be available and we'll also be getting some new pride flags to decorate our houses with. You may have noticed something missing from that update, the new Cobra Pet. This tweet was released on Adopt Me's official Twitter page earlier today. Pals, we messed up. We need more time on the Cobra Pet, so it won't be coming in the update tomorrow, but we don't want to delay the new pride pins and decorative flags. So they are still coming tomorrow along with the new Sky Castle, update vid coming soon. We'll be checking out that video soon, where I've spotted something that you may need to prepare for. So the Cobra Pet's being delayed, there's no indication when it will arrive, but I'm sure it won't take too long to fix whatever they've messed up. Let's check out Adopt Me's video showing the new Sky Castle design. I'm going to keep pausing the video to point out things. If you do want to watch the video uninterrupted, I'll put a link to the original video within my description. We're currently looking at the normal Sky Castle. And this is what the new design looks like. There's a whole new section that's been added. Some things to note though. We've still got the trampoline off the back of the Sky Castle. The door leading to it is quite a bit lower than where it currently is. We can also see a water chute leading from the new part of the Sky Castle. I would definitely be seen if we can slide down that. Should be fun. Okay, into the Sky Castle and let's pause. Just look at this place. It has an industrial feel to it with the metal girders and minecart. I really like it. We're going to go for the potions as there are some missing and we might need to prepare if any potions are leaving the game tomorrow. Starting on the left, we've got the grow potion. Then we have the small sip potion. We can see the cobra, which will most likely be available to purchase from here once they're ready to release it. Behind the cobra, we can see what looks like the big brew potion. We then have a rider pet potion in the bucket and in the minecart above is where another big brew potion is. We know that it's a big brew potion as we got a closer look at that in my previous video. There's the flyer pet potion and on the far right is what looks like the big head potion. However, the colour of this has a slight green tint whereas the big head potion in the current Sky Castle is really light blue. It may just be the lighting in the new Sky Castle though. On the left hand side is a door. We don't know where that leads just yet. Let's continue the video to see what else we can see. Obviously this place looks amazing. Up there we can see a bigger door leading outside. I guess that leads to the ledge with the trampoline. Which could mean that this door on the left leads to the new part of the Sky Castle. There's the new pet cobra. Looking pretty cool and it's coming soon. There's that green potion. Is it the same as the big head potion? The colour is slightly off and we can see a minor glow around the potion in the video which we don't get with the big head potion. The bottle's the same and so is the lid. It may very well be the big head potion or it may be something completely new. Time will tell. Here we can see the small sip potion being fed to the drake. This place looks amazing. There's an extreme close up of the pet cobra looking good. Its head is absolutely massive in comparison to its body, but I do really like the design. And what's that in the background? We have a big brew potion on the left and the anti-gravity potion on the right. That's the end of the video regarding the Sky Castle. After checking the potion shop and the current Sky Castle, there are some potions and there's something else that doesn't feature in the video. It could be that they're in a part of the new Sky Castle that we just didn't see, or it could mean that these potions will no longer be available. We didn't see the translucent tea potion that's sold in the potion shop and we also didn't see the hyperspeed or the levitation potions from the current sky castle. The hyperspeed potion can be created by the cauldron house decoration but the other two are only available through purchase or trading. I'll be grabbing myself some of these just in case they're not coming to the new sky castle. The other thing that we didn't see is the balloon stroller. Now this stroller is rather expensive at 1500 bucks but I'll be getting myself some of these just in case it will no longer be available once the update lands. The next part of the video is the Pride Month release. Here we see the new pins and flags that we can decorate our houses with. 
The flags are a real welcome addition, and I can't wait to see how people use them in their house builds. That's it for today guys, just a small video to keep you up to speed on all the latest Adopt Me news. This is The Box, and as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time, Boxy out.